I'm Lorraine Grover and I'm a psychosexual nurse specialist. So I would advise any support group leader to invite someone like myself to the group who was able to use a language and get people to talk about how sexual issues can affect them since their prostate cancer diagnosis. When I'm with a group of men and their partners, hopefully, if they come along, I want to be able to help guide them with questions they can ask their healthcare professional. Also talk about the sort of questions that they may be asked about sexual function, because I know it can be quite an inhibitory part of someone's life to discuss because we're programmed not to talk about sex. Yeah, actually, healthcare has a lot to do with sexuality and sexual behaviour and sexual function. So we've got to combine all those things. So linking our brain and our thoughts about function, surgery or hormones may have had an impact with also how we can manage the difficulties and talk about ways we can address that, too. So we're looking at many aspects, not just function, which tends to be the go to that people talk about this algorithm of tablets and injections and pellets. But it's also about how we feel as individuals, how our partner may feel and what that means for us, because we survive cancer and we want to move forward feeling happy and healthy in all aspects of our life.